About three months ago, I noticed that I had bumps on my lower legs and they looked like bug bites. So I went to see the doctor and I tried cream for a couple days and it just kept getting worse. And I started getting like pus filled pockets on my legs. It started to drain and they hurt. I had severe joint pain in the knees and ankles. I began to have stomach pain at night, very, very painful. So we got to the emergency room. They thought it was meningitis. When I heard that, my head went to OMG. They made me put a mask on, put us in a quarantine room. So they drew tons of blood work on me. Once we found out that I did not have meningitis, the doctor thought, well, you might possibly have a rare condition called HSP. I've never heard of HSP. The doctor barely knew what HSP was and he kind of Googled it online and told me it was gonna go away on its own, but it has not. My flare-ups now are happening at least once a week and they vary on how bad they can get. I don't even wanna talk about it now. It's painful. I don't want people to look at me and think that it's contagious. I feel ugly, I don't feel attractive. It just brings my self-esteem way down. So since the disease is so rare, I have just found myself not understanding it and kind of now I'm just at the point where I'm confused, like is this what I have? Why does nobody know about this? What can we do to help get rid of it or, or fight the disease? Chantel joins us with dermatologist Dr. Sonia Batra and just watching that and recounting and thinking about all you've been through, I know that's hard for you. Yeah. It's different to, you, you live it and you learn to live with it, but when you see yourself, you know, going through the process, it's much harder to see it. And I told you beforehand that you're very brave. Um, I know Chantel feels a lot of, she's self-conscious showing this to everyone, but this is something that people need to see because, again, it's not too, too common. But first things first, you did get a biopsy. And what were the results, Dr. Batra? So we did do a biopsy and it showed a very specific pattern of inflammation of the small blood vessels that is consistent with henox shown line purpura okay. with HSP. So it was definitely supportive of the diagnosis. And for people who don't know, HSP or henox shown line purpura is actually a very rare, about 10 in 100,000 condition where you get inflammation and bleeding around the small blood vessels. Mm -hmm. And as you've seen, it predominantly affects the skin and it comes up like these reddish, bluish, purple spots that look like bruises, but it can also in two thirds of people affect the joints. As you said, in two thirds of people it can affect the intestines and cause really severe abdominal pain. And up to a half it can actually cause inflammation in the kidneys, which can be the long term really dangerous aspect mm -hmm. of this. But I think what made your diagnosis sort of challenging and unusual is though it can affect anyone, and, and obviously you're a young person, yeah. it predominantly affects kids. So we see it in two to six year old little boys mostly. Mm -hmm. And what we think happens is you shared with me that you had had a viral illness. And and we see people who have had some sort of infection or take a medication. And the body's immune system really kind of goes into overdrive. And in a very overzealous way, it releases all these proteins that are meant to fight infection or to fight whatever that trigger is. But instead, they get lodged in your blood vessels and they cause all of this inflammation. So, so that's what's triggering all of the, the bleeding and the inflammation and the recurrence of these spots. And that's for, for people watching at home. This is not. Even though a virus may have initially caused your body's inflammatory reaction, this is not infectious. So the question then is, you got the diagnosis, mm -hmm. and, and you've been dealing with this for so long. What what are the options treatment-wise? So, so the good news is most of this does go away, as people were telling you, but it takes several months. And so in the meantime, we definitely recommend anti-inflammatories for joint pain, for stomach pain. And then as you were given, sometimes we use steroids to decrease the inflammation in the blood vessels. Now, steroids don't work for everyone, as they didn't work for you. A lot of times people will have side effects. It's really difficult to get them off of them. You can become dependent on them. So I had actually a different idea for you, which was a stronger and newer immunosuppressive that kind of just decreases that inflammation. And it's called mycophenol at mofetil. And, and I'm going to write you a okay. prescription for that. So hopefully within several weeks, you should really notice this clearing up. And, and the goal is really to prevent it from coming back. And, and up to a third of people, it can come back several months later. But the, the key thing is you know what you have now and you have all the tools in hand. So were it to come back, you would know exactly what to do. Okay.
and we know, as you told me, that you're from New York, upstate yeah. New York, <laughs> not really close to Los Angeles. This is something that's going to require some oversight. And because this is, in many ways, an autoimmune type of problem, we actually reached out to a rheumatologist near you, uh, Dr. Peter Dean, who's agreed to not only take on your case, but going to work with you over the course of the next year to get this under control um, gratis. And wow. we want to thank Dr. Dean for doing that. Thank you.